Well, everybody, my name's Epi Fox, and welcome to Windlands. Now, I'm already in the game. I've played a little bit. Uh, I've, I, I wanted to get a few of them in. I just kind of played it to find out what it was like, and it, it's a really good game so far. I really enjoy it. <coughs> Oops, sorry. One of the little pieces I had to get was way up there on that top of that little uh, structure, way up there, and you can't use your grappling hook or anything to get up to, so it's a pain in the butt. But I went ahead and got the hard ones. That way, I'd, I haven't even tried to get that one yet. Yep. The, op, the point of this game is to get these little glowy doodads that are around here. There's like four or five of them in each map. So, the game is called Windlands, and you get these little uh, grappling hooks. Oh god, the game is so loud. Sorry, it's so freakishly loud. I'm probably yelling into my microphone. Oh, it's such a good game, though. It's so fun. I woke up this morning, and I've had this game. I bought it because I saw Jacksepticeye play it a long time ago. And, ah, uh, damn. I saw Jacksepticeye play it, and I was like, Huh, that looks really good. And his he got it when it was back in Early Access. So I bought it when it was Early Access. And I played it, and I fell in love with it. Absolutely loved it. No, 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 no. Let's get back up on here. I'm not so good at this game. But I, I bought it back in Early Access, and it's incredible how much they've changed. Like, this game is used to be very, very small and didn't have... Ah, oh, God, God damn it! come on, let me up here. Okay, there we go. It used to be very small and used to have one grappling hook, and it was just this tiny little game. And it's continued to change. And the developers are very good at listening to people and doing what they need. Because before, this little that little place up there... It was pretty much impossible to get to. Uh, yeah, sorry, there was no checkpoints or anything up there, and it was almost impossible to get to. And so, uh, I've noticed through the developing, or through the updates that they put into the game, uh, the grappling hooks now have like a swing option to them, and it's it's just become a whole new game in itself. It's it's amazing now, though. Like, I mean, the music itself is beautiful. The look at this view, though. Like, look at that view. It's beautiful. Absolutely love this game. It's so gorgeous. But enough gawking at the game. The point of the game is to collect these little shiny doodads, like I said earlier. And you gotta, I guess, just swing into them as a basic point of the game. Not a super difficult game necessarily. Until you gotta get to places where you don't have any trees to click on or grapple onto. Not click onto. What am I thinking? Thinking, click with the uh, mouse button. Ah, there we go. Swoosh like Speeder Man. Swoosh. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, there we go. All right, getting. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So I really wanted to do today a video on uh, something where I could use my face rig. The hell is that noise? That's a new noise. Must have just added that in. This is also just after an update, so. This is an updated version. Can't swing on the trees. Remember that now. Your little guy's got a jump that's incredible too. Like, look at this. Yump. Oh, look at that jump. I mean, he's got a jump that, like, rivals a kangaroo and a tree frog if they had babies. <laughs> I don't think that would actually happen. But if it did, this little guy would rival him. Because your little fella has, like, an incredible jump. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, beautiful game. Wonderful jump. Gets difficult when you have the platform because you're very... The game is based on motion, so it's a very flowy game sometimes. Uh, you got single grapple or double grapple. Double grapple seems to pull you faster. Like, if you need to speed towards something. Single's more for swinging. But that's just what I figured out. I, I got up this morning, I started playing, and I got pretty far. It took me like six hours to get that stupid thing last time I played. But I saw that they had an update, so I went ahead and played it just because I wanted to see what it was like. Woo! What are you? Ooh, you're a secret. Uh, by the way, another thing is that giant robot dude over there in the distance, he wasn't there earlier. He just kind of stood up whenever I got that piece. So, uh,. I don't think he's actually supposed to be up until you get like three of them. Oh, I see a checkpoint. Definitely want that. 
checkpoints are good. And you... Alright. So from here, I can probably climb up the robot. So I gotta get up to his eye. Somehow. Alright, so we're going to... Can I get to that one? I probably cannot, but I can try. Nope. I can get to this one, though. Which means I can get to this one. Ugh. It's such a beautiful game. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, commentary I can give about the game. But I'm so lost in the gameplay right now. It's so beautiful. Just the surreal nature of this, you know, it really gives you a sense of flying. Oh, and also, you might have noticed by now, my camera is in a different location. That is because I've been trying to rig up my other face cam. I wanted to use face rig. I really like that software. It's a really neat, like, idea. Where am I going? I guess I'm going for that one. So I'm gonna yump off this. Yump off of this. And, nope, nope, I can't. I can grab you. Whew. Thought I was going in there for a second. Alright, I have no idea where I'm going at this point. I'm gonna yump over this thing. Ooh, secret! I didn't even know you were down here. Cool. I'm not really going for the secrets, to be honest. I, I'm just trying to survive. Which I'm not doing a very good job at, as of right now. And... Oop, there we go. Nah, I'm concentrating. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There you are. Oh, there's his eye. Okay. I'm not too far away from him. I wonder if there's a checkpoint near here. Probably not. Probably should have used the momentum there. This game's a, a lot about momentum. Ah, right, there we go. This game's a lot about momentum. Yeah, anyway, I, I changed my camera position because I wanted to, uh... Change... Or I wanted to use face rig and it can't go from an angle. For some reason, it can't read your face right, so the eyes are all wonky all the time. That's another thing that I wanted to bring up was, uh... I do do a face rig video, please be patient, because... It, it's not an easy software to get working. It's not an easy software to get... To do well with, I should say. Because unless you are directly looking at the camera the entire time, which you can't do when you're recording a video, because you've got to be able to see what you're playing uh, until they get a little bit better at their software. I mean, f the face rig is like uh, top of the line right now, like as high as it will go. But the problem is it's still got bugs. But any software will have bugs. You know, that's just software for you. Software has bugs in it they need worked out which means people gotta use it and so I don't blame the company necessarily for it it's just you know how it works that's just how life goes you know, software I'm mumbling or rambling not mumbling I was mumbling you wouldn't hear me alright is this the head I'm pretty sure this is the head I want to get on top of the head there we go. this game is really neat though because of like the the momentum and everything is a really neat idea, but also the fact that, like, the momentum is uh, affected by gravity as well. Like, the slipping and sliding. Oh, cool, he's got a hole inside. Oh, better grab this first. Okay. So now I got all of them. Okay, so see, he's gonna move now. I don't know what he's doing, but... Okie dokie. I wonder what he's doing now. I have all of them. All the uh, beacons. Anyway, let's talk about face ring. Uh, I'm gonna start trying to use it for uh, recording now. I'm gonna go inside of him and see what's inside. What? What is cracking? What is that noise? I hear big cracking. I don't like that. Oh, that's you. You're walking away. Why are you walking away? Come back here. Can I get that special? I want that special. And boom! It like just the sound and the look and the feel of it is amazing because it gives you this the true feeling that you're falling. Wow, you got messed up, dude. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. It's such a beautiful game. I keep on getting distracted. Sorry, I was talking about face ring. And it's a wonderful software. I'm gonna try to start using it. And they've been updating it, and it keeps getting updated, so I'm hoping that it gets better with time. But right now, and it was it's not a cheap software to use. Uh, I know they have like a cheap demo or something like that you can use, but they have like the face rig logo over the top of it and stuff. I have the authentic face rig. Which is like you you pay the good money for it. And I don't mind doing that because I do really like the company and who made the face rig because I really do appreciate that kind of software. It's really cool software. But it's still in a work in progress. I hope they continue to work on it and don't just like end up giving up on it saying, you know, hey, whatever. We did as best we could, whatever, we're just gonna leave it here. I'm hoping they really move on with it. Like that's something else I've noticed a lot lately. I'm getting a little off topic here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go on my little tangent here and I've noticed that a lot of the companies that I've a lot of the games that I've played, companies come out with these games, like this game specifically too. They create these beautiful games, and they update it like once a week. Like this thing is updated constantly, because it's like they—it's not like something they just put out there and was like, "Oh, hey, you know, this is a video game. People are gonna like it. People bought it. Oh well, we're done. Let's move on to our next idea." They like—they have are passionate about it. Oh, there's my ending. That's what I was looking for. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we put that thing right there. But they—they they create a game. And then they just kind of leave the game, like, or oh, whatever, I don't care anymore, you know, whatever. I've created the game, it's good enough. But that's not what the game's about. That's not what gaming itself is about. That's, so I got all three here. Do I get another one? Ooh, I can open this one now. I don't see where this is. New location. Ah, ha, ha. Super excited. I've never seen this place before. But, like, people... We'll just create a game, just kind of, you know, make it and then throw it out there and be like, whatever, it's good enough. And that's why I'm so passionate about Game Jolt, is I love... Oh, cool. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that one's going to be a bitch to get up to. Okay. But that's why I'm so passionate about, like, uh, Game Jolt and stuff, is because the creators of Game Jolt, and, like, the games on Game Jolt, are super passionate about their games. Well, a lot of them are, and not all of them. Be honest, some of them just create games because they want money, and some of them just create games because they just want to recognition and stuff. But like, there's no problem with that. But we need people who are passionate about games. That way, you can get good games, and that's where the good games like this. And what's another one I'm playing right now? I'm playing another one like this. Um, Mirror's Edge is one I really like. Like, there's the creators of Mirror's Edge are pretty passionate about their games, but. I found independent game people, people who independently make games, like, uh, Toby Fox is a good one, uh, Undertale, are so passionate about their games because they put so much into them. Um, Unraveled's another game. I think there's something up there, but I don't know if I can get to it. I can get to it. Okay. I can also fall off of it, too. Oh, I actually stayed. Okay, cool. But they're so passionate about their games, it's like... I'm not going to be able to get up there. Okay, hold on. Yep, yep. I can't see anything. I'm oh, running into that wall. It's like, come on. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I didn't realize I could do that. All right, my bad. Anyway, people, we need people who are basically what I'm trying to say. We need more people who are passionate about games, the games they're making out there, making video games. And... I feel like we've lost that a little bit, especially in this era, in the era of like Black Ops and Call of Duty when they started really coming out. Not as much anymore. I've noticed they've started to die off a little bit. They're a dying breed. But especially with those eras, it wasn't so much like the storyline of Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3, the one that just came out. I guarantee 9 out of 10 people couldn't tell you what the actual storyline is. Because they didn't play it. They, they bought it for the online multiplayer, which is fine, but it just ruins it almost because then people aren't as passionate about making games anymore. They don't care. They just, they make games to make money and that's it. And that's where your corporations come in. But I, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Even though I can't scale any of this. Okay. 
I can't get anywhere. I'm really having a lot of trouble. So next next game, maybe I'll come back and play. Ooh, I really like that area. It looks so cool. Maybe I'll try to get over there. But, I mean, the guys... This game is fantastic if you want. It's on Steam. It's, um... I don't know how much I paid for it. It was, wild. It was a long time ago I bought it because I saw Jack play it and I bought it on Early Access. I played the Early Access a little bit. It was fun, but there wasn't much there. And then Early Access was... Uh, really, it was a fully released. I'm pretty sure this is a full release. But uh, when it came out on full release, I, I'm pretty sure it came out full release. I'm like 90% sure this is a full release game. But it, it's beautiful, and they keep on changing things. Like every week, I get back in. And like every time I've gotten back in, it's been like multiple weeks. But every time I get back in, there's something new, and I constantly see this one updating on my Steam. Whenever I get on Steam, I always see this one pop up on the updates. And so I got in and played it today because I was really tired. I'm like, I don't really want a game that I have to get into for a long time. So I just want to play a game. So I started playing this one for a little bit. I thought, you know what? This is a beautiful game. I really want to record it. So I decided to share this with you guys. I know I'm a little tired right now, and I'm not, like, as hyper as I usually am. But I, I wanted to share this beautiful game with you. And I I'm sorry I got into kind of like a ramble or like a rant. But, like, this game is so awesome. I, It's... Like, Undertale, this game, there's so many games out there that are so good right now. I just hope that we don't get back into the slum where the games that are coming out are just Call of Duty and Black Ops, you know, constantly pumping out, you know, first-person shooters. I'm hoping that we can get... Nothing wrong with first-person shooters, don't get me wrong. I'm just hoping that we can get into more games that are like this, which are like more exploration and, you know, actual thought process to the making the games rather than, okay, I put a point a gun at you, pull the trigger, you're dead, thing like that. But thank you so much for joining this episode. If you like this episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you dudes in the next episode.